What's up everybody, y'all know the business. I'm back again with another YouTube video. Today I wanna to talk a little bit more about cyanobacteria. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I release a new video. And thank you for viewing the channel. If you follow the reef tank microscopy videos, you know that I've already released a video on cyano. In one of my last videos, I showed you images under the microscope of spirulina, which is a form of cyanobacteria. Now, cyanobacteria is also called blue-green algae, but it's really not an algae at all. It is a bacteria. So, in my last video, I showed you samples of spirulina that I found in my overflow. Over the past few weeks, the cyanomats have started to grow on a rock that's by one of my favorite corals, the PC Rainbow. It's also attached to the outside of the opposite overflow from where I got the original sample from. Now, why do I have this increase of cyanobacteria? Well, I think the first reason is I started dosing more amino acids. Uh, typically, one of the things that you'll see if you do start dosing amino acids, if you overdose it, you'll probably see cyanobacteria. The other thing, my nitrates are pretty high right now. The last test I did, nitrates were at 16 and my phosphates was at 0.08. So that's a little high for what I typically run in my tank. What I'll need to do is go ahead and do more nutrient export and probably try to feed a little bit less. So what's different about this time? Well, last time I just saw a lot of spirulina. Now I'm seeing both spirulina and a lot of just normal regular cyanobacteria. You can tell the difference between the two because spirulina of course is a spiral where the normal cyanobacteria looks just like segments. And you can see that here in the videos. So what can I do? Well, first off, I'm gonna back off a little bit of my amino acids. I started dosing aminos because I was having a issue in the tank and I wanted to see if I can get the corals a little bit more healthier. I believe my dose is probably just a little bit too much for my tank so I'll back that off. I'm also going to cut feeding a little bit see if I can uh, basically reduce the nutrients. Probably gonna skim a little wetter as well. Once again I'm trying to reduce the amount of nutrients I have in my tank. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bubble scrub a little bit more than what I have been doing in the past. Hopefully bubble scrubbing is going to move that uh, excess waste to the sump and then skimmed out from the skimmer. So that's my plan. Reduce the aminos, reduce the feeding and try to bubble scrub a little bit more. Um, I don't want to dose any chemicals yet. Um, I know uh, Kimi Clean will completely wipe this out and I know H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide would wipe out the normal standard cyanobacteria but I don't want to dose any chemicals yet I want to try to knock this out as natural as possible so along with water changes that I've been increasing anyway I'm hoping I can be out of this little situation with cyanobacteria well like comment subscribe let me know what your battles with cyanobacteria have been in the past. And as always, YouTube, happy reefing.